friends who followed me for a while know I am passionate about communication. I'm passionate about words. I'm passionate about narratives. I believe words, narrative, the communication you weave around the situation impacts on it getting worse or getting better. I am deeply worried about how, through providing aid in Africa, through doing humanitarian advocacy for aid in Africa, we've projected such negative words, negative narratives, and I believe that is having an impact on Africans what we believe we can do in the continent and the possibilities in the continent. What people say about Africa, the words that are projected are deeply, in contra in, are deeply contradicting the reality of Africa on the ground. Africa is much more developed much better than the analysis, the narrative, the words, the information that is circulating globally. Um, and that is what I am challenging. I believe in the ability for words to create. You see, I grew up in a community in Niger Delta where the options for a lot of girls was marriage. And I could remember at 12, and my mother reminds me of this, she was telling me, you have to learn how to cook because if you cook well, you get a good husband. And I looked at her, I said, I said, why do I, yes, a good husband is good, but you said, well, yeah, you have lots of brothers and, you know, your, your man that is wealthy. I said, no, 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 I'll take care of my wealth <laughs> and I will cook because I love cooking. Well, the great marriage would be great, but I was, I did not imagine the definition of my success would be getting, um, getting married because I read, I had access to great books of amazing women in Nigeria, around Africa, who were doing great things. And I wanted to use my life to do more beyond just being a wife. I got that vision through reading. I got that vision by the words I saw. So you can imagine a continent of young people growing with the message in the messages that their continent is going through one crisis after the other and need aid. No wonder they are all young Africans are trying to get out of the continent. It has to do with the kind of words we're projecting. Words are powerful. The world was created through words. <laughs> you have to be able to see something in your mind, imagine it to create it. So the words you consume, you absorb about a situation has a serious impact on the changes you can make about it. It has a serious impact on whether you make it better or you settle and give up. The words we project about Africa is what is holding us back. I make it that simple because it's that simple. I've traveled the world and I know America is all about positive projection. What we hear and is projected by the United States is not what is. The first time I traveled to the UK as a young woman, I was dazed. It was winter and everything looked white and gray. I was shocked, you know, but UK is one of the top world colonizers. It's all about words, imagination and projection. So Africa has been negatively, you know, imagined. Words have put Africa down and it's affecting the psyche of its citizens. That's why we're young people are running out to nothing out there in the West. Words create words matter. The communication we spin around situation affect our ability to make it better or make it worse. It all starts in the imagination. And imagination is fed by the words we consume into our minds. That's why I am committed to challenging the negative, negative projection, the negative wording, the negative messaging, and the negative communications that is spun, that is spinning around Africa. I'm challenging it.